I have got to say, I am surprised. Dual shocks have been pretty aesthetically stable for three generations now, starting all the way back with the Dual Shock 2 and arguably back with the original Dual Shock, just with a different color. This, then, is a departure, only just unveiled the Dual Sense, the controller for the PlayStation 5, with a futuristic sort of look that I see more in Inta. Renet and fan mockups than final hardware. Without further ado, let's analyze this surprising bit of hardware. The most striking thing here is the color. Dual shocks are black by default, but the dual sense is not. We have got both black and white here as well as a strong presence from those blue lights towards the middle. It's a little jarring for me to look at, you might love it or you might hate it, but it's just sort of throwing me off balance. In a blog post, Oni talks about haptic feedback, and how an increased sense of touch is driving the design of the dual sense. Based on our discussions with developers, we concluded that the sense of touch within gameplay, much like audio, has not been a big focus for many games. We had a great opportunity with P5 to innovate by offering game creators the ability to explore how they can heighten that feeling of immersion through our new controller. This is why we adopted haptic feedback, which adds a variety of powerful sensations you will feel when you play, such as the slow grittiness of driving a car through mud. We also incorporated adaptive triggers into the L2 and R2 buttons of Dualint so you can truly feel the tension of your actions, like when drawing a bow to shoot an arrow.